All right. Some of the things that people are not expecting or haven't even thought that they would see in Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. One of the things is this. I, I pointed out if you take a look at Anthony Joshua's training and what he's got going on, it's not hard to tell that he's training for a knockout. He's trained to obliterate. He's training to murder, death, kill. And he's want to take it out on targeting Tyson Fury's body. Okay? That's for sure. Okay? He's going for the knockout for sure. All right? Anthony Joshua will want to box with Tyson Fury to show you, us, in the world that not only that he could do it, but probably beat somebody who you guys say was a way better boxer than him. He did the same thing with Andy Ruiz. You remember, remember what he said then? He beats me. Y'all telling him how great he is, how this, how that. Well, I'm going to whoop him. Then I'm going to watch them kiss my feet and tell me how great I am. He didn't appreciate y'all saying that shit. He didn't appreciate how as soon as Andy Ruiz beat him, he was the best boxer in the world. As you see, Anthony Joshua came back for that accolade and he took that shit back. Okay? Y'all did the same thing with Tyson Fury. Told him he's so much. Oh, Tyson Fury's gonna box circles around you. Y'all been disrespecting the man while he's out at the beach walking down the street, screaming Fury and all that other shit. He's such a better boxer. 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 Just like, all right. So besides being aggressive, one thing that people are not thinking about that they'll see with Anthony Joshua is Anthony Joshua is going to have a strong desire to want to box one of them because he's going to want to know. And that's the one thing I like about Anthony Joshua. He tests himself inside himself. Sometimes it ain't about boxing. He just want to know if he got it. It's almost like it's, it's personal. It's just for him. It's really not about everybody else. He wants to see what he is. That's why he moves like he moves. Anthony Joshua may not have all the confidence sometimes in doing something or beating people like we think but the point is he wants to test himself to see where he's at that's one thing i love about the kid he wants to he naturally wants to see where he's at and i don't think he has a doubt in his mind that he can beat tyson fury now when i said john fury tyson fury they know what time it is you can look at Anthony Joshua's training and tell what's going on with him. You know he's going for a Fury's body. He's going to, and he's going to set up that head body, head body, and clean his clock. Okay? I can see it from over here. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how much Fury, Team Fury, know what time it is. Because if I can see it from way over here, they ass can see it. Look at this footage right here. What is Fury doing? Isn't it funny how you see Anthony Joshua practicing vicious body shots? on the heavy bag and training. And here you got Tyson Fury doing what? Blocking vicious body shots, okay? So you see Anthony Joshua going overtime working that heavy bag when it comes to the body area. Now look at Tyson Fury. Because he knows his body is a weak point and that's one of the main things that's going to be targeted. He knows that. He knows it. That's how you know, they know, like I said, they know what time it is. They do. He knows it. He knows it. And Tyson Fury's best attributes are these things right here. The only advantages that he has over Anthony Joshua is his movement. Well, these are things he needs to imply. If you want to beat Anthony Joshua, the first thing you need to do, because this is his strong suit, you need to start working on Anthony Joshua's brain right now. Because his brain can't be messed with. So, since that's one of your strongest attributes, you need to be working on Anthony Joshua's brain right now, hoping that he's too flustered and angry and too emotional to stick with the plan or think accurately. Get inside Anthony Joshua's head, okay? Now, when it comes to the ring, the longer the fight goes on, the more it's in Fury's favor. 
if you're Team Fury, you want to take Anthony Joshua to the deep end because his gas tank is questionable. From fight to fight, we don't know what kind of condition he's in and what kind of weight he's in. So you're naturally going to want to take him to the deep end. Now you can practice the body shots and say, well, it looks like since he practices body shots, blocking the body shots, he might want to step to Anthony Joshua. So this is something that we could see. We might, we might get Vladimir Klitschko versus Tyson Fury 2.0. A guy that's just trying to survive and rack up points and frust frustrate a guy and stuff like that. Because once he's faced a guy with power and skill, that's what kind of performance he put on. So is he gonna try to bore us to death again? Who knows, because we all know that's one of the most boring fights in boxing history. I, I tried several times to watch that fight. I can't. I have never watched that fight all the way through because I couldn't. And I literally sat down and said, no, I'm going to watch this whole Every time I tried, I couldn't. So what kind of Tyson Fury are we going to get? Is he going to step to him? Well, you could do that. And that would be great for us. But you want to know the weird thing about Anthony Joshua? For a tall guy with long arms... He fights good on the inside. So you can step to him and try to knock him out, but I know no logical coach would instruct Tyson Fury to do that. And that's if, you know, there ain't no cheating going on. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry, Fury fans. I'll digress. Don't start screaming and fucking crying and shit you know but that means we all know that Tyson Fury is pillow fisted why would I suggest Tyson Fury to step to somebody who he can't knock out period and in the process it's a strong chance that he can get knocked out of course you're not going to want to do that but if you do do that it's a little bit subs it's a little bit suspect that's all that I'm saying so your best bet is to make Anthony Joshua chase you, follow you, frustrate him. When he's frustrated, he's going to get more fatigue. And as he get more fatigue, you can start turning up. Meaning Tyson Fury doesn't really start fighting until about the sixth round. That's where he starts turning up because that's where it starts to go into his favor. I don't see it being a 12-round fight, but if I'm Tyson Fury, I'm going to train and want it. Like, I want it to go 12 rounds because I want to pull Anthony Joshua to the deep end and hope I can get the same thing Andy Ruiz got. And other than that, that's it. Tyson, there's nothing left. He can't overpower him. He's not going to... I mean, if the man gave you hell when he was just an amateur and you just calling him in to get some work for training camp, if he worked you over then, keep in mind... Anthony Joshua has all the motivation in the world because at the end of the day, the, the skilled fighter doesn't always win the fight. Hence, Tony Harrison versus Charlo. The skilled fighter doesn't always win the fight. And Tyson Fury fights better with his back against the wall. Anthony Joshua has all the defining motives. If anybody's itching, dying, eager to get in the ring, it's Anthony Joshua. And you have seen it throughout his career. He's been chasing everybody. He's been chasing everybody. Now he's finally at the end of his road. I think if anybody's more geek, anybody's more excited, anybody's more pumped, then it most definitely will be Anthony Joshua. Now, when it comes to Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury fights better with his back against the wall. That's just a fact. He fights better with his back against the wall. Now, when things are going good, it ain't good for Tyson. Tyson Fury is ESPN love him. America's kissing his ass. Ring Magazine number one. Uh, selling books. Motivational speaker. Everybody saying he's the favorite to beat Anthony Joshua. Like I say, he's never been adored this much. Everything is good for Tyson good nothing to drive him nothing to get him in there and get him training hard and all and all that's because his main goal he already did and i was still in deontay wilder pay that he's already achieved it he's already basically passed his goal there is really no losing at this point not really i mean there's a winner and a loser but ultimately there really is no losing 
okay? And for all you people who's having a problem just because I favor Anthony Joshua, I love Tyson Fury just as much, you idiots. If you check my material, you'll find that out. But some of you show up on some sensitive shit. But while I got you Fury fans' attention, let me tell you why you don't want this dude to win. Because one of the worst things can happen is Tyson Fury win. You want to know why? You want to know why? And I think we already all know, don't we? You're not going to get a rematch. <laughs> he doesn't do rematches. Ask Deontay Wilder. He don't do rematches. He fuck around and be Anthony Joshua. That will be it. You will get the same shit that's going on with Klitschko Fury. It, 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 it's the same shit. So you better hope Anthony Joshua can pull this out because if not, he's going to leave another gap in the flow of boxing. John Fury tell you already, Tyson Fury don't give a fuck about nothing. This is a business. And I respect their business mind and their business savvy. I, I really do like that about the Furies a lot. But if he wins, it ain't going to be no fucking rematch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being straight up. These are things that y'all haven't thought of yet. I'm letting you know. Expect Anthony Joshua to want to box with Tyson Fury. Do not be shocked if Tyson Fury actually decides to step to Anthony Joshua. If by some chance Anthony Joshua falls and Tyson wins, don't look for no rematch. Period. I'm not even sure. No. Nah. If Anthony Joshua win, I think Tyson Fury would accept the rematch. But it wouldn't be the other way around. Okay? So, don't be surprised at these things. Because we could see a Anthony Joshua would want to box and a Tyson Fury that wants to be the aggressor. But like I said, it's less than likely because you got to step to a man who hits harder than you. And is not a one-trick pony. But this is boxing. Who knows? And y'all keep talking about the skill, but I told you. Skilled fighters don't always necessarily win the fight. That's why I'm looking at the defining motivational factors. And it looks like to me, Anthony Joshua's got all the motivation and the juice on his side. I don't see Tyson Fury having fuel to get up off his couch and really do shit. Like I said, I could be wrong. I've bet against Tyson Fury before. I've been wrong before. It's just when I'm looking at this shit, I'm sorry. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I'd have thought about it a, a thousand ways. You know what I'm saying? But either way, it'll be an exciting fight if Tyson Fury don't get on that bike. But we have to wait and see. So if anybody think Anthony Joshua's just going to be all aggressive, don't be surprised if he box. Anybody think Tyson Fury might run, we might be surprised if he stepped to Anthony Joshua. You know, if Tyson Fury pulls off a victory, don't be surprised if you don't get a rematch. Just saying. But at the end of the day, when these two fighting, we all win. That's the, that's why I'll get y'all. So, some people still want to come here and play this. This is my favorite fighter, and this is your fighter. So I don't like you, shit. That's kid shit to me, man. I don't mind if you like Fury. I like Fury. You know, y'all gotta stop playing them little kids ass game. This is this ain't the channel for that. Because your fighters, if you look on my, if, if your ass look on my page, nine times out of ten, I did a flattering video on them. And I probably did, you know what I'm saying, a non-flattering video on them. It's just even when it comes over here. So, once again, y'all getting shit mistaken. And, and in case you ain't know, this channel has took a different kind of turn, okay? We no longer uh, giving hoes on the sideline any attention. We gonna keep driving to the destination. And the destination is always boxing. Period. So at the end of the day, leave what you think in the comment section. You know, chop it up with me. Tell me where your thoughts at. I get back at y'all, man. I'm out.